Peter Pan is very interesting because it was Walt Disney's favorite. Walt Disney played in a school play in elementary school in Kansas City in Peter Pan. And he always wanted to do Peter Pan from the first time he started animating. But he never quite found the time or the place or the right conditions in which to do justice to the story that he had in his mind. When he created this Peter Pan, it was a masterpiece because it gave us Tinkerbell. This is an example of using multiple cells because you have three different figures all moving independently. But some of them, like the figure of Tinkerbell, which is flying across the picture, can just be moved as a cutout. So if you look carefully, you have multiple cells and you have cutouts in here to allow at the time the camera takes a frame and the next frame when the figure has moved that you can adjust this cutout figure across without making a whole new cell for every single frame. And it's a way to cut the cost of production and have all three characters moving in the same frame. And for me as a collector, Tinkerbell is very difficult to come by. You can't get Tinkerbell with wings, and the reason you can't is it's a double cell. So when this was taken by the camera to become a frame on the film, the two cells were probably separated. The wings didn't mean anything to anybody if you didn't have the figure itself. Because in the film, the wings are constantly flapping, and the figure of, P of the Tinkerbell is moving like a person. So you have two sets of animation going on simultaneously. Very, very difficult to get original cell with original matching wings. Very few of these exist anywhere. Song of the South, it's relatively obscure for a couple of reasons. It was done immediately after the war. And because Disney had experience during the war making the training films, live action films, he saw that the quickest way to make a feature film was to do it in Song of the South. Two thirds of the film is done with real acting people. And the animation is only one third of the film. The cartoon characters are very, very colorful, and they appear in a lot of subsequent movies that were used, and particularly in the TV shows of the Disney TV cartoons on Saturday morning. So everybody has seen the Burr Rabbit as a character, Burr Bear and Burr Fox. And this was the first film after the war to get the studio started again. 